a WhatsApp AI agent which can actually manage all of your queries. So you don't have to hire a team member or you don't have to hire a huge team to manage your daily queries or even if your sales queries or whatever queries you are raising on a daily basis. So this agent can actually manage all of these things for you guys and we'll be building this agent right in this video. So I'll give you a quick demo so that you get a better understanding of what this agent is all about and how you can use it in your business and even if you are a solopreneur even if you have a maybe a mid-sized team you can still use it for implement this thing into your team and you can use it roll out for your businesses you can also design this agent for other business owners as well if you are an agency owner if you want to give this as a service to your clients then again nothing like that and uh, let me just quickly show you that how this agent looks like so this is the workflow and you can see over here we have got only one two three four five tri five nodes are over here which is whatsapp trigger uh, where we'll be receiving a whatsapp message and this will trigger okay so whenever the user sends you a message on a specific number it will trigger the backend automation okay now the second thing node is ai agent which is the ai agent which will actually analyze the message which he has received and then send it to open ai I am using over here OpenAI chat model. You can use any model, whichever you like, Perplexity or Grok or whatever you want to use. I am using OpenAI and then I am using a simple memory node over here. Simple memory node is for keeping the chat history. So whatever the user sends should not be like the agent should be capable of answering the queries. Like we do our conversation on chat GPT or any AI tool. They actually remember whatever we have spoken to them, right? So that is why here we are using this memory tool to actually memorize whatever you want them to keep in record and then the final step obviously to send back the message into the whatsapp number which has sent us the message so let me just give you a quick demo of this and let me just quickly send a hey and you will see within a fraction of seconds it will reply back okay so you can see hello how can i help you today what can i assist you with let me just give it my name so that we can check whether it is able to memorize our name or not Hey, my name is Shruti and we'll keep on replying back. Uh, it says, hi Shruti, nice to meet you. How can I assist you today? Is there something specific uh, you need help with? Let me just see. I so let me just see what it replies back. Just a random question I'm asking so that you can see. I can help you with the latest news on the Ukraine and Russia conflict. Are you looking for the news from a specific source or region or you would prefer a general? So you will see why it is asking so many questions back to back because I have trained it for that. That even before you proceed for answering, you should be asking questions so that it gives the right you know uh, result to the user. So I have just come back on my nn.io dashboard and you will see that this is the prompt area. This is the prompt I have given user uh, message which is you are a helpful whatsapp chat agent review the customers messages and reply accordingly ask back questions so this is what i was mentioning and this is why it is asking so many questions back and forth and as soon as i delete this and let me just click on save and you will see it will just start to answer my questions and not cross back uh, check before providing any kind of information let's see what it replies back so thank you for confirming shruti yes and bang on it still remembers my name that is why i mentioned my name you can see i mentioned my name in the second um, message okay and that is the magic of having a memory in your um, workflow we add memory to memorize whatever the user is messaging thank you for confirming shruti is a general uh, update on the ukraine and russia conflict the situation remains would you like to update on any specific area now let's see I have asked it and let's see what it replies back. So you can see it has given us clear step to step uh, information that what should be done and set up a WhatsApp business AI API or use WhatsApp intelligence service, create an N10 workflow, connect WhatsApp to N10, call open AI API in N10, send. It's it's almost correct what we'll be what we'll be demonstrating right now. It's almost correct. It has given the correct information. And this was just a very basic demonstration of this agent. Now this agent can be used as a your daily query for handling all, all of your daily queries and everything there could be multiple use cases for this agent now it depends on your creativity how you implement it i have just given you a demonstration that what are the possibilities and based on your creativity you can use this agent accordingly and you can also put uh, your queries regarding the use cases of this agent in the chat box and i will reply back what if you are thinking on the correct words or not if it if this agent is capable of doing that or not so now let's just quickly get on to the workflow and let's understand that what which step means what so that you can design it for yourself and as usual you'll find all the resources in the description box so you can download it from there and you when you 
you download the json file from the description box all you have to do is just click on these three uh, dots and you can upload it from file or you can also upload it from the url which i'll be providing you the drive link you can also simply just import click on the url you can put, put the this url for the drive link over here and it will import the workflow over here and if you don't if you are unable to do that you can also download the file first in your system and you can import it into your system that simple okay now let's quickly understand that what is what so that for those who want to try out and building agents on n10.io uh, i would recommend not to download the json file you can create this whole agent right now and let me just give you a quick whatsapp trigger and then the agent and everything so let me do one thing let's just quickly create another agent so i'll just click click on create workflow and let me just keep this tab open for you guys to refer from okay so the first step is gonna be the whatsapp trigger for that you need to connect your whatsapp and how you can do that that is what we are going to be understanding in this and once you click on the whatsapp trigger you will see multiple triggers options are over here and we have to select on message on message so not on templates and status and uh, templates quality don't be confused by that we we'll only click on on message so what does this mean whenever a message is received on a particular number it will trigger the uh, workflow okay so now let me just click on uh, create a new uh, let me just click okay, i'll create a new api connection over here so that you guys can also follow along with me and let me just click on this and create new credentials so what it is asking is for client id and client secret for that you will have to come over developer.facebook.com and click on this come on to this website and make sure you're logged in onto your facebook when you're logging in over here and click on my app so all of these things are already created i i have created it for the testing purpose that is why you are seeing over here and let me just click quickly create an app over here click on create app and you will have to just give an app name this has nothing to do with your automation you can give it whatever you want that is just for my reference it has nothing to do with anything okay and then click on next and from here you'll have to select other and then click on next and whether you are registering as a business or consumer totally depends on you uh, click on next just keep on proceeding whatever it is asking and keep on clicking next and now the final step create an app it has created an app it will ask for a password just submit that once you have logged in over here and you have created on your app something like this will open up now quickly just click on set up for this whatsapp icon and click on this setup and you will be landing onto the whatsapp app so here you will see it has opened now and just keep on proceeding whatever it is asking whichever business profile you want to select you can select that and keep on clicking continue proceed further and now it is over here and now what we'll be doing is click on app settings and click on basic okay? and once we click on basics we'll get what we have created this app for so you can see app id app secret and here it is asking for the client id and client secret so let me just uh, copy this and paste it over here i'll put the secret id over the client secret and i'll put the app id over the client id okay simple i've just copied it from here and pasted over here and let me just click on save let me just rename this so that i can uh, remember and it and tutorial and let me just click on save and once you see this green connection tested successfully and this means you have done correct steps and you have followed it along in the correct way now you can just hit back and you can click on execute step now you'll require a whatsapp number like what is the number of this uh, agent then only it will trigger so what you'll do is you'll come on to the whatsapp api setup and over here you'll find your number you can find the number over here this is the same number executing this step i would like to actually create this whole thing and then click on the further step because that is how this particular thing works and let me just keep on doing this and i'll let you know that what is the reason for this because i would like to create this first and then actually trigger the later on things and under the memory section you'll add a simple memory over here and now the final here whatsapp business cloud where we'll be sending back the response received from the agent and for this once you click on whatsapp business account you will have to click on send message something like this will open up this is the final step where we'll be requiring this ids and everything that is why i'm doing this without actually setting up the whole thing because once we are done through the whatsapp business setup we can work upon it and later on this is how the things will look like and if you click over here you will see what things are over here this is the working model which we have just discussed this is the whatsapp message okay first thing which we need to do is actually set up an account and i'll again create an account so that you can actually understand that how 
you can actually create it for yourself so it is asking for the access token and the business account id and for that you need to come back your developer facebook account and here you will find this whatsapp option over here and here you will click on api setup once you click on the api setup and you will receive all of your token ids and everything and let me just quickly reload this and here something like this will appear once you click on the api setup and this is the number which we have just created and here you will have to select the number and create generate access token and it will generate access token as soon as you provide the permissions and you can scroll down and just try to send a message and copy this and you can see we have already received a message this one and we have copied this okay and we have put the token id over here now we are what we are left with is business account id the business account id you will find over here under the app settings they click on basics and this is the business account id and you click on copy and it will be copied and you can paste it over here and click on save credentials uh, credentials successfully created and once this is done we are done with the facebook thing and what all we have to do is just set up these things and and we can do everything now and let me just really set these things up and what i'll do is i'll just copy paste the prompt from my previous agent so that it saves our time and here we go just copy pasting the previous agent message and let me just quickly test this step and send a hey over here so you can see um, it has received the message i sent okay it has received the message which i have sent over here and over here it is giving a few errors because you can see we have not configured this thing so that's fine and now it has sent this message over here and if you want to if you are wondering what is this green thing this is nothing but just the we are passing the text body uh here we have to pass on the message we have received this is what we'll be just picking up and putting it over here and you can see it on prompt and everything i have given the phone number id so that the memory rec recognizes it okay? the memory recognizes the chat from a particular user only by using the phone number id so that is why i'm passing it through over here over here and let me just click on this and click on open ai chat model here you will have to connect your open ai chat model over here and for this again you have to create your credit and you can connect it you just click on create new credentials api keys and everything all you have to do you can just simply search for open ai api key and you will receive all of your whatever it is asking for api key and everything you will get it over here so i'll not demonstrate that over here if you want me to demonstrate that quickly just put it into the chat box and i'll create a separate video for how to integrate your open ai account through anyden that's just as simple as we did for the open ai uh, for the whatsapp bot then this is the chat model once we click over here we have to pass on the session id now what is the session id this one it's the same so it is giving it uh, an error right so what is it about it is giving an error because the session id is not triggered over here and what we'll i'll do is i'll just disconnect this for a while and click on execute step so that it gives an output once we have the output you can see this is uh, marked as green and now i'll just connect it back and click again on this and you can see over here i'll just click on define below and you can see over here it is asking for the session id session id as i mentioned it is asking for the the recognition which is the whatsapp id so what we'll do is we'll click on this the whatsapp trigger the first node and from here we will just click on the whatsapp id which is over here whatsapp dash id and we'll just drop it over here okay so now you'll see it's now green as soon as you see green it means it's working fine and now you click on execute step so let's just click on execute previous nodes so why do you think it is giving us an error it is a very obvious reason because obviously this whole thing is blank over here and we have not you know integrated what should be replying back so we'll just click on execute previous step let me just disconnect this and do a test over here so that it can record everything and in case there's this just a quick tip you don't want to you know send back when you are actually building it you don't want to send back a back and forth what you can do over here is just pin this so that you can use the same response again and again for solving these things and make sure once your workflow is live you unpin that because it will keep on using the same data again and again so all of these things these four nodes are working fine only this thing is there and you can see it has already got the variables over here
earlier it was not mentioning over here right so now we'll just drag and drop few things over here and we are we have built the agent right here and it's asking for the recipient's phone number obviously the recipient's phone number will be the whatsapp id which we have received from because we'll be sending back the response on the number we have received from and here it goes and the text body obviously it has to be the output which we have received from the agent okay so this is the output which we have received from the agent and that's all i don't think we need to require anything let me just do a quick check okay i think that's good to go now and we'll just click on execute step so it is again giving some error which is obviously because we have got a few things not connected over here and you can see over here let me just click on this and you can see there's no data over here that is why it is giving that those error let me just put this on active mode and click on this and it is asking for the trigger now let me just and you can see it will trigger back some just sent a message back nice to meet you how can i assist you today so this is how simple it is to actually set up the whole thing and you can see over here it has already triggered all the things and that's how simple and easy it is to actually set up the whole automation and you can see actually how many challenges you get to see from uh very simple for few, few people over here but obviously i want all my learners to be on the same page and that is why i'm keeping it from the basic to very advanced so that that is why i try to you know integrate my apis and keys and everything through facebook and everything so that everyone gets on the same page and from here we can take it to the next level so basically the understanding of this agent know how you can actually build it what are the use cases and how you can actually customize it so i have set up the whole thing right in front of your eyes and i have encountered and i have shown you how to actually correct those errors so that you can understand and learn even chat gpt if you put this in chat gpt create an agent like this chat gpt will give you a json file but you won't be able to actually uh, rectify the errors which are arising while creating these workflows and that is why i have demonstrated this in a way you can actually do it for yourself and rectify the errors you can do this for your own use case you can design this for your client so it could be a multiple use cases and and let me know in the comment section uh, how was this video and what kind of other further videos you'd like to see in future you can put your recommendations if you want to learn something specific from me you can put that in the comment section and i will revert back to it and i'll try to research on this and you'll find all the resources mentioned in this particular video in the co comment section under the description box and you can as as usual download the json file everything will be there for your references to go from okay so that's all about it in this video and i'll see you in the next one